Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to our first screening news update of 2022. As we start this fresh new year, I am thrilled to report that SNN is now a proud part of the Sterling family. Keep an eye out for exciting new content over the next few months as we settle into our new home. Now let's get to this week's news. Right before the holidays, President Biden told Americans the federal government would send out 500 million free rapid at-home COVID tests. The website to order those tests is expected to be up and running sometime this month. Right now, though, the administration is still reportedly working on getting those tests and working with the Postal Service to figure out how to manage that massive number of deliveries. That really doesn't affect employers, but what might is the second part of the plan, which requires private health insurers to reimburse people for over-the-counter COVID tests. Starting on January 15th, you'll be allowed to submit a claim to get reimbursed for up to eight tests per person per month. If you're a family of four, that means you could be reimbursed for as many as 32 tests per month. That is, of course, if you can find them. The tests will not be subject to deductibles, but they must be FDA approved. And some insurers may set up direct coverage plans with pharmacies and retailers so their policyholders don't have to pay for the test out of pocket. If you do buy a test outside of your insurer's network, you must be reimbursed at least $12 per test. What isn't clear yet is how much of the cost the insurance companies are going to be expected to bear. Lobbyists are trying to get government money to help with what promises to be a huge expense, but no one from the administration is talking yet about how much the insurers will have to take on and then if any of that is going to be passed on to employers. Another big city bans pre-employment marijuana testing. As of January 1st, it is now illegal to turn down a job applicant in Philadelphia simply because they test positive for marijuana use. Not all employees are covered under the new ordinance. Law enforcement, childcare, professional drivers, medical providers, and any others who could pose a risk to the public while on the job are still required to submit to testing. Employers in Philly still have the right to demand a drug-free workplace, and they can discipline employees who are under the influence while at work. If you've been taking advantage of the Form I-9 flexibility when hiring remote workers, you now have several more months before you have to return to checking new hires documents in person. You will now be allowed to examine documents virtually at least until April 30th. There's even talk that ICE might be warming to the idea of making the rules permanent. The flexible rules were put in place for employees hired after April 1st, 2021, and only apply to those who are working remotely because of COVID-19. It's recommended though that HR departments begin reviewing documents in person as soon as they can, because eventually you're going to have to physically examine the documents for all Form I-9s completed during the pandemic. That's a tall order. Now, in the meantime, ICE seems to be looking for ways to modernize the entire process. The agency is studying the impacts of remote document examination and has requested input from the public to decide if there might be a place for virtual checks as we emerge from the pandemic. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll see you back here next week.